What if you have a big chunk of leftover smoked beef in your freezer? Today, I'm going to show you my favorite leftover barbecue recipe. I recently cooked 10 kilograms of beef neck. When it was done, I shared it with friends, I shared it with family, and look, I still have around two kilograms of this stuff left. What to do with it, I'm gonna show you right now. We're going to make the most delicious beef tacos from the leftover barbecue. Let's take this out and take a look at it. Look at that. Giant cut of beef, beautiful smoke ring, beautiful bark, a lot of beef fat. If you made brisket before, this is just like that. You know when you reheat brisket, it's gonna be drier than the result you had before. No matter what you do, no matter what trick you pull, but I'm gonna show you my way of keeping this beef nice and juicy. First we'll cut it up into smaller pieces. Get in there, make nice slices. And you can see that the redness of the smoke ring went all up in that beef. So that means that smoke flavor has gone throughout the beef and is everywhere by now. I'm just gonna keep on slicing because in the end it needs to go onto our tacos. So I want them into smaller cubes and then in the end I need them to fall apart. Because proper barbacoa, which is a Mexican barbecue style, is fall apart tender. We're going to put all of this meat into a pan. Oh, this already smells so fantastic. <laughs> a big pan full of goodness. To this, I'm going to add 500 milliliters of beef stock. Come on. It's the grease. In real life, I'm really strong, but I just don't want anybody to know. Otherwise, people might take advantage of that. To our beef stock, we're also going to add one tablespoon of flour. Get a little bit more of that barbecue flavor. I'm going to add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now we'll put a lid on and put this on the side burner. We're going to turn on the side burner on a Napoleon Prestige Pri Pro 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 Come on. Pro 500. Prestige Pro 500. Turn on the gas, let it flow for five seconds, and then hit ignition. The beef broth and the all-purpose flour will make a gravy. So we need to stir all of this up and make sure we get the juices everywhere. While our gravy is slowly coming up to temperature, the beef will start falling apart and will be perfect for our barbacoa tacos. Since this is going to be a simple and easy recipe, I'm going to show you a beautiful way to make a very, very tasty salsa without breaking a sweat. I'm going to start with my muti. And for all you German people, not my mother, a can of tomato. And the reason why I'm naming it so specifically is because I'm looking for a soft tomato pulpa. And this is really soft and this might sound weird, but it's definitely going to make a difference. Normally you would grate tomatoes for your salsa and if you grate them, they will turn velvety soft. And that is going to give you an incredible mouth feeling. This does about the same thing and will give you fantastic results as well. So this is 200 milligrams in a bowl and that's the base of our salsa. To that we'll grate one clove of garlic. You have to do this in your micro cess to get fine results. And I'm using all uncooked ingredients just to make sure we get a powerful flavor. To this I'm going to add one adobe pepper and we'll chop that fine. Making sure we get a nice smooth consistency in our salsa. This is going to give our salsa an extreme smoky flavor. Now we'll grate fine one quarter onion. We want to have the same structure as our garlic clove. Look at how smooth that consistency is. It's completely translucent, soft, perfect for our salsa. A dash of Worcester sauce, a pinch of salt, and some fresh ground black pepper. Now we'll mix that up. Look at how super soft our salsa is. Nice and creamy. That is a nice salsa. I'm still debating on if it's hot enough. Oh, it's, I like it. Mm. Oh, I like this. Wait for it. W when does spiciness come? Oh, there it is, way away. <laughs> See? All right, almost to the finish line. We need to quickly chop up this half onion that we have left of that grated onion for the salsa. This is gonna go straight onto our taco, so we need to chop it really fine. Getting to the finish line. 
so we need to get our pan with our beautiful barbacoa beef off. This stuff is super tender by now, it's juicy, it tastes fantastic and it's got a little bit of that gravy going on on top. Absolutely gorgeous. Since we are looking for the easiest way to make barbacoa tacos, I bought some pre-made tacos. You're gonna say, oh man, you can Listen to me, if you're looking for a hangover cure, you don't want to be bothered by making your own tacos. So don't lie to me and tell, you, tell me you're doing that on a Sunday morning. I want to know from you guys how to get the best one and how to prepare them the best. I have a cast iron skillet hot here and this is the way I like to do it. I just like to throw them on when a cast iron skillet is hot, let them come up to temperature, flip them around and they're done. 30 seconds max. Time to take it off and build our tortilla. First, of course, we're gonna boot on that beautiful barbacoa beef. Look at this stuff, it's freaking awesome. Nice and juicy, beautiful gravy, absolutely tender. Let the juices drip off a little bit and then not too much on your taco. Time for some of that tasty salsa. And it's gonna give us flavor and a little bit of spiciness, a little sprinkle of fresh onion, a few leaves of cilantro, and our taco is done. <laughs> this thing is absolutely gorgeous. This is what your barbacoa taco should look like. For a Dutch guy, I'm getting pretty close to the real thing. Here we go. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God. Seriously. <laughs> Martin, if you eat this, you're gonna freak out. This is good. We should get a hangover right now. Mm. Mm. Oh man, Martian, let me make you one. Yeah. You're gonna love this one, Martian. It's, it's, I don't know, the, the, the flavor's just grabbing me. The beef is making all of the difference. You know, I had many tacos, but not with the real barbacoa. Of course, the technique in Mexico that they use is they cook the meat underground, they put it in a pit with coals, let it sit overnight, and then everything turns super, super soft. We can't do that, but we got leftover briskets, we got leftover smoked beef shanks, beef necks, all the great stuff. The flavors are insane, so why not this taco? And now, getting these results, it's just blowing my mind. That beef so tender and succulent, that salsa is so soft, and that acidity of the tomato breaks down the fat that's in our beef. It works really well together. A little bit of cilantro, and for the people that don't really like cilantro... You're on slippery grounds. Oh, slippery grounds. Well, let's talk about tacos then. Here you go, my friend. Your own barbacoa taco. Okay, th this is awesome. This is awesome, right? This is awesome. This is comfort food. That we can make this at home. Yeah. It's mind blowing. Yeah. People, you can make this at home. Drop everything that you're doing, smoke a brisket, put it in the freezer, wait two weeks, then turn it into a pulled beef, leftover barbacoa. That's what you need to do. All those guys that are competition barbecues, this is what you need to do with your brisket. Forget about slicing it, eating it. This is what you need to do. This thing is freaking awesome. I love it, Morrison loves it. I'm sure you guys are gonna give it a try. And if not, just make that salsa. It's good for a lot of stuff. Just, just give that a try. It starts from there and then think like, wow. I needed beef with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up, a comment down below. And in the meantime, hey, smakelijk. And keep on grilling. Oh yeah, and a big thank you to our patrons and YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. See you later. The really hangover. Forgot about that. Yeah, but look look behind you. What's happening? What's going on here? It's completely it's going crazy out here. We got three storms in a row, winds, gales, hail, rain. Look at my barbecues, they're all getting wet. We need to eat more tacos.